question requires really us to transpose using sutra transpose and adjust all the um, uh, these numbers either to fractions or to percentages or to decimals and in fact it's probably easiest to convert them all to decimal numbers this 45 percent is 0 0.45 it's 9 twentieths. So if you multiply top and bottom by 5, we get 45 over 100. So that's also 0 0.45. And this is 0 0.45. And the question is, which is the smallest? And clearly it is um, number C. At a very large wedding, there are 4,261 guests, all seated round round tables, each with nine seats. So we have to find the remainder on division by nine. And the easiest way to do that is to find the digital root of four, two, six, one. So we just add all the digits up and keep adding until there's only one number left. So four add two is six, six add six is 12. 12 add one is 13 and one add three is four. And that is the remainder upon division by nine. The answer is E. Vertically and crosswise, uh, we're asked to find the third step before any carried digits have been carried out. So if we write down 234 and 614. <clears throat> now the third step, it doesn't matter whether you're working from the right or from the left. Uh, the answer will be the same. So working from the uh, this way, two fours, two times four is eight. Then we have three times one is three. And then four times six is 24. We have to add these numbers up and the answer is 35, which is D. <clears throat> what is the whole number remainder? Um, <clears throat> when this number is divided by 11. Dividing by 11 using the Vedic method of Parawalcha division, uh, 247647, we can put down the, that's the remainder part over there, we bring down the first digit 2, subtract it from the next, leaving 2, subtract that from the next, leaving 5, Subtract that from the next, leaving one. Subtract that from the next, uh, leaving three. Subtract that from the left, leaving negative one. So it's not quite right here. Oh, the last digit, sorry, is seven. So the last, the, the, the remainder is four. Seven take away three is four. That's better. So it's answer A. Uh, which operation gives a quick method for multiplying by five? Halve the number and multiply by 10. Let's just test that out. If we take 16 and we halve it, we get eight and multiply that by 10, we get 80. So it's answer A.